Jerusalem artichokes are a American sunflower type that makes the tuber that you can eat. And once you plant them, you can forget about them. They're going to stay there. Sometimes they'll need a lot of water when they're getting established. But once they're established, they thrive on the tuber they've got in there. And the time to harvest them is when they die back. And um, you can just dig them up all winter long whenever you want some. And they're really nice. Good things to have around. I don't have to fertilize them or water them. I just leave them alone now. And I've got them here and there all over the place. And um, there's nothing poisonous about them. They're just a sunflower. They're very delicious and easy to, easy to use. And they come in a lot of different varieties. There's, there's red Jerusalem artichokes. They're all white inside though. But there's yellow ones, there's more of a white one, there's large ones, and there's small ones. A word of warning, if you get a Jerusalem artichoke type, it's going to be um, a very miserable time if you have bought the small variety. There's a, a type that has small tubers, they're very little. Don't get that one. You want the large one, the mammoth, or a type like the mammoth. Because um, the small tubers are hard to work with, and they're not really worth digging and I've got them too. Um, I've got three kinds of Jerusalem artichokes. The small ones, which I'm trying to eliminate and replace with these large ones, and I've got the red large ones. I just got the red ones, so I'm not really sure how they'll do. But the ordinary old yellowish white large mammoth Jerusalem artichokes, the common ones, that's the one you want. They're the same ones you'll see at the grocery store called sunchokes. Just plant them in the ground and um, they'll grow for you. Just leave them alone. Let them grow. Nothing needed.